or between offices. And I stopped by the 7-Eleven because I needed to get Lotto again. It's creeped its way, it's crept its way into the billions again. And I know it's that gambling mentality, but there's a chance. <laughs> There's a chance that I could I could win it all. And if I do, the production value of these videos are going to jump up exponentially. That's for sure. Uh, this morning we went to the gym. Peter didn't go. He said he was going to go, but he didn't. So, you know. Not a lot of stock in him going with me much anymore. Um, we did chest and triceps tomorrow we're going to do back and biceps but chest and try it went well like I did my my 40 on the Stairmaster and then like I'm a little sore so I think it went well I do feel a little bit stronger I was able to do heavier weights than I'm normally pushing myself to. I feel like I'm actually getting stronger. I just don't know it until I can push these weights, right? And I'm doing it um, shooting for 15, but as long as I get at least eight, I'm golden. Of course, I want to push to failure, but it's hard to determine what failure is. Uh, I feel like I have these mental blocks in my head, that once I've hit my goal, that my body just loses its drive, you know? I don't know, it, it's easier when there's someone there. I don't know what it is, but it is. It just is easier when there's someone there. That's why when I was in a team environment, I really improved a lot faster than I think I would have if I was just by myself. And I'm not talking tennis team, I'm talking like cross country, I'm talking like soccer. Because tennis, ultimately, I was just by myself playing against other people. But I had a team with me that made me want to do better. But these other things where I'm a part of a group running or, you know, I have to block balls. <laughs> I don't know. It's just those kinds of environments made me train harder, um, improve faster. So hopefully he comes back to the gym and I get that edge again. If not, you know, we'll just keep improving steadily as we've been improving. All right. I got to get back to the office not sure what we're going to do today. Today's Monday. It's a week after my birthday. So I don't know what I want to do after work today. But we'll figure it out as things get to that point. I'm home now. Yep, I'm home. I'm just relaxing at home. Ugh. I'm going to do some research on a potential interview for the podcast in a bit. But I want to show you guys my One Piece collection. So these are the One Piece cubbies. We got manga up to chapter, or up to volume 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, I got this Luffy figure for my birthday. I also got this one. These are both from my 30th birthday party. I bought both of the Chopper Tamagotchis. I painted this guy. I don't know if I was vlogging at the time, but I painted this guy to look like Luffy. The The jacket, the pants, and the hat all came, so I just painted the red stripe. I painted the buttons. I painted his thing yellow. Uh, that. Hmm. Didn't do that good of a job. <laughs> and then we got the transponder snail with Usopp. Uh, I got these two devil fruits for my birthday as well. And we got my man Choppa. <laughs> um, over here we got this Chopper bag. 
uh, from FYE. Everyone's asking, where'd you get that bag? Where'd you get that bag? FYE. I also have more books, actually. Let's see if I can... Let's move. Careful, careful. Cool, cool, cool. I actually wanted to get these books out. Oh, but I got these stickers. Got the straw hat stickers. Look at them. All of them wonderful. And we got the Going Merry and the Thousand Sunny, which is always a nice thing. Um, let's see. Oh, we got 19. So once we get to 19, we don't have to worry about that. And then we got uh, a couple more. We got 41, which is where Robin says that she wants to live. Oh, I think I passed it, but that's okay. One of my favorite issues. Uh, we got 100. I got this one at Half Price Books, obviously. Whenever I see a manga at Half Price Books for One Piece, I buy it. And then I just hope down the line that... I remember not to overbuy, <laughs> so I don't have two copies. And that's it. That's my One Piece collection. If no one listened to your music, would you still make music? That's almost exactly what I'm doing right, right now.